Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. In today's video I will be giving you some tips to help you land in a crosswind and to show you this we will be flying the A320 as usual. I have made a separate video all about how to land the A320 properly and how to get a perfect touchdown so if you haven't already watched that then go check it out now and then come back to this video afterwards. So in this video we'll be landing into Menorca and I'll be giving you a few tips to perfect your crosswind landings. Today we have a crosswind of about 30 knots. For reference the crosswind limit for the A320 is about 38 knots so we're well within the limits here. So first things first, I've configured the aircraft for landing, again like I said if you're not sure how to do this then go check out my previous video, link down in the description and I'll also link it at the top of the screen. So the first thing you can do to help you when landing in a crosswind is to use the flaps 3 mode. So you're now only using flaps 3 instead of flaps 4 or more commonly known as flaps full. This does two things. First, it enables you to fly faster, which means you have more control over the aircraft. And secondly, because you're now flying faster, the pitch of the nose of the aircraft will be significantly reduced, which will give you a better visual of the runway. So to do this, come down to the performance page on the MCDU. And in the bottom right field, change the thing that says config full to config 3. Then come to the flaps lever and select flaps 3 like you would on a normal approach and finally come to the overhead panel and select the flaps 3 mode for landing. Now to keep the aircraft on the centre line of the runway you don't want to be pointing the nose directly at the runway. Instead imagine an extended centre line coming off of the threshold towards you. Then position yourself on that imaginary line and point the nose of the aircraft into the wind. And just like that you have initiated a technique called crabbing. Sustain this all the way down to the runway, making small corrections to keep yourself aligned on the centre line and adjust for any change in wind speeds. Like now for example you can see we've just had a change in wind speed. You can see it's just gained a few knots so we have to adjust to keep ourselves on the centre line of the runway. Okay, so the whole time we're coming down, we want to be flying what's called a stable approach. Now, this means that our airspeed and vertical speed are well within their assigned limits, and the aircraft is configured for landing. For an approach to be considered stable, we should have no more than 1,000 feet per minute on the descent, and our airspeed is no more than the VREF speed plus 20 knots indicated airspeed, and no less than the VREF speed. And for those of you who don't know what the VREF speed is, it's basically just the final approach speed that the Airbus has calculated using the information that we've put into the MCDU on the approach page. In this case, it's 122 knots. Okay, so we are approaching the threshold now and we are keeping the crab in to maintain the center line. So just as we flare, we're going to use left rudder to point the nose of the aircraft down the runway and then we are going to use right aileron to keep the left wing from dipping. Then we're going to hold this all the way through the flare, making small corrections to keep the aircraft in the position we want. 50, 40, 30, 20, okay, so left rudder, right aileron, there's touchdown and maintaining center line. Spoilers, reverse green and decel. Alright, so to recap, on the approach, you're going to use the crabbing technique. All this is, is you're keeping yourself on the center line while maintaining the nose of the aircraft into the wind. Then you keep this all the way down, and then just before the flare, you're going to put in opposite rudder to the direction of the wind, and then opposite aileron to stop the downwind wing from dipping. So for example, if the wind is coming from your right hand side, then you will put in left rudder and vice versa. And so if we're using left rudder, then we're going to use right aileron and vice versa. Then we're just holding this all the way to the flare. And then once we touch down, we want to maintain the center line using the rudder. 
Also, it's very important that even once we've touched down, we keep the right aileron in to stop the downwind wing from dipping and potentially hitting the runway. So there you have it, those are just a couple tips to help you land in a crosswind. As I say, if you are still unsure how to flare properly or how to fly a stable approach, etc, then check out my previous video I did on the channel called How to Land the A320. Thank you so much for watching, if you have enjoyed this video then please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Also, I've got a channel update video coming in the next week or so, so be sure to check that out. I've got some very exciting news for the channel and what direction I want the channel to go into. However, in the meantime, I have another video coming out in the next couple days to show you how you can restore a flight if you experience a crash to desktop mid-flight. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye.